What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over free keyword research tools and I'm going to show you 20 different free keyword research tools that you can use without even creating an account. Now some of these have paid options, but I'm going to go through the keyword research tools that I use all the time for my own business that you can use for your business as well to improve your SEO strategy and come up with more content ideas. So let's get started. Here's my list of the 20 free keyword research tools. Now I've gone through and made sure that each and every single one of these you can use without having to create an account. There are going to be some limitations for some of these keyword research tools. And just because something may be the 15th or the 20th keyword research tool doesn't mean that it's not as good as some of these other ones over here. I kind of rank these ones as the ones that I use the most. So the ones on the left hand side, I generally use the most. But the ones on the right hand side have some really good applications that you can use depending on what kind of business you're in. So let's get started and let's start with the Google Keyword Planner. So if we come over here to the Keyword Planner, the example I'm going to be using for this video is let's just say I need to find keywords related to laptops. So I'm starting a niche blog about laptops and I want to try to sell some different laptop affiliate products. Maybe I'm selling, maybe I'm drop shipping laptops. So with the Keyword Planner, this is available completely free through your Google Ads account. This and Google Search Console are the two that you are going to need to create an account for, but they are completely worth creating the account for because of all the information you can get from both of them. So let's get started first in the Keyword Planner. If I want to discover new keywords, what I can do is start with keywords or enter a website and we can pull keywords from an entire website, or I could just say, I want to find keywords related to laptops. Click on Get Results and they're going to give us all sorts of different keyword ideas just by simply entering one keyword here. And you can enter up to 10 keywords and it's gonna give you even more keyword ideas. So entering one keyword, we have over 2000 different keyword ideas. And as we scroll through here, you can see there's all sorts of different keywords that we can look at. We can see how much advertisers are bidding for some of these keywords in Google Ads. We can see the trends for these keywords and the overall competition in Google Ads as well. So there's a ton of different things you can do with the Google Keyword Planner. I re recently created a tutorial on my channel about how to use the Google Keyword Planner. So I would highly recommend looking at that if you're not familiar with this incredible tool. So number one is the Google Keyword Planner. Number two is Google Search Console. So this is gonna be more for once you've started creating content, you don't use the Search Console to come up with your initial list of keywords. What you're trying to do is find some of the keywords you are already ranking for, so you can see from my website, farmhousegoals.com, these are some of the keywords that are driving the most clicks to my website, some of the keywords that are driving the most impressions to my website. You can see they'll give us a thousand different keywords here, so we have all of these keywords by impressions, but what you can also do with Google Search Console is look at some of your top pages by impressions, and for example, I'll go into this a little bit more, but I'm trying to increase my rankings related to farmhouse bedding. So if I click on this specific page, I can actually see the search terms that are driving clicks to my website for this page. So obviously farmhouse bedding is one of the main search terms, but if we're looking at impressions, these are all different keywords that I can start to target as well and make sure that I'm optimizing for all of these different keywords that people are actively looking up because clearly my website is relevant to these keywords if I'm ranking high in Google for them already. So coming back over here, the first two tools here, the only ones that you're gonna need an account for, every other one you don't need an account for, some of them you may need to download a Chrome extension. So the next two are gonna be Keywords Everywhere and Keyword Surfer. Now these are fairly similar tools to me, but if we come over to keywordseverywhere.com, we can install the Chrome extension. And if we also do this for surferseo.com slash keyword surfer extension, we can add this to Chrome as well. And what's really good about both of these tools is if I do a search in Google or pretty much any search engine, they're gonna give us all sorts of different keyword ideas right along the right hand side here. So this is Keyword Surfer. They give us not only keyword ideas, they also give us overlap to the actual keyword we entered and the overall search volume. So we have all this search volume for all these different keywords and they've given us a total of 69 different keywords that we can look at. Keep coming down here, there's more keywords here. Now this is keywords everywhere. They're gonna give us some related keywords. We can copy this, we can export it. People also search for, and one of my favorite, long tail keywords. So you can find some different keywords to make sure that you're targeting all of these different topics with your website content. The other thing is when you enter a keyword in the top here, 
Keyword Surfer will give you the search volume and how much advertisers are bidding for Google Ads campaigns. So these are two really awesome free tools and all you need to do is install the Chrome extension and you can enable them or disable them at any time to make sure you're doing your keyword research. Next is going to be KeywordTool.io. So find great keywords using Google Autocomplete. Now you can do this for Google, YouTube, they have Microsoft Bing here, Amazon, eBay, they have the App Store, the Google Play Store, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google Trends. So let's just say for example, you wanna find keywords on Amazon for laptops. We enter our keyword here, we click on search. Now their completely free version, which doesn't require an account, is going to give us 252 keywords for this one keyword here. You can also look at prepositions as well. If you wanna to subscribe to Keyword Tool Pro, it is fairly expensive, but what I like is if we scroll down here, we can see all sorts of these long tail keywords all related to laptops. So I don't necessarily need to look at all of this search volume here because the next tool is searchvolume.io. So with this tool, what you can do is enter a list of up to 800 keywords at a time. I don't believe there's any limitations to searchvolume.io. At least I haven't hit the limitations when I'm using them. But if we come back over to our search and let's just say we wanna take these long tail keywords, we'll copy these keywords everywhere, long tail keywords. We come right over here to searchvolume.io, paste them here. We have 20 different keywords here. Looking at the United States results, click on submit and you'll see we'll get the search volume for all of these different keywords. Now, if we come back up here, you can see, I guess we can do up to 800 daily keyword search terms that we can look up. So that's more than enough keywords to find the actual search volume for. So as you build your keyword list and as you come up with different ideas, depending on whatever tools you're using, all you need to do is paste them here, click on submit, and you can figure out how much people are actually searching for these different keywords. So that's gonna bring us into our next tools. And the next two tools are both question related. First one is answerthepublic.com. I've been using Answer the Public for a long time and it's great to find questions that people are looking for related to your niche. So if we come over here, we enter laptops again. We have United States, we're gonna click on search. This will give us 392 total keywords. You can download all of these keywords at any time. But if we scroll down, you can see all of these different questions. I kind of prefer to look at it as data. And you can see all of these questions. If we keep scrolling down, you'll see prepositions. Same thing, we can use data. So you're gonna get a ton of different long tail keywords here. What I like is if you see four here, it's laptops for sale, for college, for gaming, for college students, for sale cheap, for kids. So you're gonna see a bunch of different keywords that if we download these, again, just come right over into searchvolume.io, enter all of those keywords here, and you can come up with some different ideas as far as your content and what people are actually searching. Now the next one is gonna be also ask.com. So you get three free searches per day. So if I enter laptops here and we click on search and we scroll down, they're gonna give us some of the top questions for whatever keyword we enter. Now, now this may not be the best keyword for this because generally you get more questions. So depending on whatever topic you enter, you may get see more or less questions. But it's a really useful tool, especially if you're creating a blog post and you're just looking for some frequently asked questions. So another tool that you can use, a little more simple than Answer the Public, not gonna give you as many keywords, but a quick and simple tool that you can find some different questions. Now, if you're trying to find more long tail keywords, suval.com is a simple tool, but if we just search laptops here, you're, they're gonna give us long tail keywords for Google, for Amazon, for Yahoo, for Bing, for YouTube, and they also have answers over here. So if you just enter one keyword, you can see all of the different autocomplete long tail keywords for all of these different search engines. So it's a quick and easy way to find long tail keywords. Now next is gonna be Google Trends. With Google Trends, one of the things I really like is if we enter a search term like laptops, what we can do is we can look at different search engines. So if we're doing things specifically for YouTube search or image search, it can give us some different ideas we can see the overall interest over time. But what I really like is some of the rising search terms. So you're gonna see best laptops 2023, best laptops for college students, affordable, gaming. But as we come over here, sometimes what you can find are actual specific models like Surface Pro 8. Here's a question that we can easily answer on our blog. If we come over here, we have more and more search terms here. Again, you can download this information at any time as well. 
Over on the left hand side, they're going to give you some different related topics, some rising topics. We can also just click here and do top topics related to whatever search term we enter. So this will give you some more ideas for different brands, maybe some different models that you can cover on your website. Same thing over here with the related search terms. We can click on top again. And these are the very top most popular search terms related to what we entered. So I like using Google Trends sometimes. It doesn't give you thousands of keywords, but it gives you some of the most important keywords and trending keywords as well. So taking a second to come back over here, those are our first 10 tools. Keyword Planner, Search Console, Keywords Everywhere, Keyword Surfer, KeywordTool.io, SearchVolume.io, Answer the Public, also asked Suvel and Google Trends. Now, there's different reasons why you would use all of these different keyword tools, and truthfully, you don't need to use every single keyword tool on this list. What you wanna do is find the one that works the best for your business. That's gonna bring us to our next 10, and these are all gonna do things that are a little bit unique and giving us some different ideas that maybe these other ones that are just spitting out long tail keywords aren't gonna give us. So the next one is going to be Keyword It. You can get this at HireVisibility.com. They have several free SEO tools. I'm gonna to go through another one that they have in a second. But what you can do is enter a name of a subreddit and they're gonna pull out different keywords from that subreddit. So this doesn't work for every niche. And for laptops, I'm not sure if it's the best thing, but if I start searching laptops, one of the subreddits is suggest a laptop. We click on get keywords. What they're gonna do is pull out some of the most popular keywords from this subreddit. So these are all really good keywords that are pretty unique compared to some of the other keywords that we were getting from some of the other tools. So sometimes with keyword it with specific niches, this can be a great tool to find exactly what people are looking for within whatever topic you're covering. So they pull these keywords directly from Reddit, so they're gonna be unique. So this is another one to try to help improve your overall content strategy. Now the next one is gonna be Bulk Keyword Generator, also from HireVisibility.com. And what they're gonna do is suggest keywords. We can start with a business type. So for example, I click on Handyman, they give us all of these different things that a handyman may do. So let's select all of them and we'll select these service types. And then what it's gonna ask us is where are we providing these services? So we have all of these different services here. And let's say I'm gonna do these services in Charleston, South Carolina. So let's say that's the market that I serve as a handyman. I click on generate keywords. And if we scroll down here, they've given us, let's see how many keywords we have here. 60 total keywords, we can download the CSV file, but you can see all of these different keywords. So it gives us a bunch of different ideas for some of the pages that we can create on our website, specifically to whatever market that we're serving. And you can do this for a lot of different business types if we come in here and we scroll down. So if you offer pools and spas in a specific area and you offer certain services, you can find the right keywords that people are actively searching and it's completely free through HireVisibility.com. So that's the bulk keyword generator. Now the next one is gonna be WordStream's free keyword tool. I've already entered laptops in here and did a search. Now this one, they will give you a lot of different laptops. And what I like is when you enter it, some of these are just gonna be specific types of laptops here. There's a total of 500 keywords and they'll give you some bid ranges, low range and high range through Google Ads and the overall Google Ads competition. So you don't need to actually sign into your, your Google Ads account to see all of this data. The one thing is when you do click download all keywords, they'll send them straight to your inbox, but you do have to enter your email address. So there are some limitations with this tool, but just coming in here and getting these 25 different keywords, plenty of keywords, see all this search volume for all these different keywords, and it'll give us plenty of ideas for content that we can, can create, and even keywords we can target through our Google Ads campaigns. Now coming to our next keyword tool, it's gonna to be apptweak.com. This is gonna be specifically for the Apple App Store and Google Play. So what I did is I just entered puzzle for App Store United States English, clicked on suggest, and they're gonna give us the top keywords here, and then they're gonna give us keywords in alphabetical order. So let's just say I'm creating a puzzle app and I wanna put together as many puzzles as possible on my app, then this is all you would need to do is just enter your keyword here and I can find all sorts of different puzzle ideas that I can easily implement in my app if I actually knew how to do that. So this is a really good keyword tool for app developers or anybody who is helping an app with SEO. 
so apptweak.com specifically for mobile apps using the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now next is going to be Keyword Tool Dominator and with this if you go to KeywordToolDominator.com and we go to Keyword Tools again they allow you to search a lot of these different search engines here. One of the unique ones here is Home Depot and Walmart. Don't see that very often. YouTube Keyword Tool can be very helpful for channels like mine. But let's just say Amazon Keyword Tool, we'll use Amazon again. I entered dog toy for this example, clicked on search, and they give us a bunch of different dog toy keyword ideas. As we scroll down, you're gonna see all sorts of different keyword ideas here. So this is really good if you wanna expand your keyword list and you're selling products on specific channels or you want to see what people are actually looking for the one thing I like is the top 10 unique keywords by frequency so dog toy toys but what you have down here is large chewers dollars aggressive you can find different keywords by word frequency so another keyword tool I like is keyword tool dominator now the next one here is going to be keysearch.co and then you go to tools and free SEO tools so these are 100% free SEO tools. What I really like here is you could do something like niche ideas generator. So if you're trying to come up with a niche for your business and we click on niche ideas generator, all you need to do is start typing an idea and they're gonna give us a bunch of niche suggestions from popular search engines. So this is another great tool and you can see they have a lot of different ideas here. LSI keywords generator, keyword density checker, robots.txt generator, Etsy keyword tool, Pinterest, SEO content editor. So they have a lot of different free SEO tools here. Keysearch.co, definitely worth checking out, especially if you're looking for a niche. Now that's gonna bring us into our next one with it, which is the Ahrefs free keyword generator. So you can search Google, Bing, YouTube, or Amazon. And I've entered laptop here. We click on find keywords. Obviously Ahrefs has a great premium tool, but if we just click on this and we enter one keyword laptops, we scroll down they're going to give us all sorts of different keyword ideas through this free keyword tool and we can also look by different search engines as well so so the Ahrefs free keyword generator is definitely another tool that you can try now last few tools here keywordtools.org this is powered by SEO ability and if we click on laptops here and click on research with one keyword here they've given us over 2,000 results so we scroll down you can see all of these really popular keywords and what I like to see is competition over here. So the competitive strength in Google ads, the CPC, search volume, sometimes seeing the competitive strength in Google ads can give you ideas for, okay, let's make sure we have a page on our website with 144 Hertz laptops. So just some different things that you can look at and another free tool to try. Last two tools, wordtracker.com. Now this, again, we're gonna enter laptops here. We're gonna click on search. They're gonna give us a ton of different keyword ideas. You get 12 free searches per day. I already used two of my searches and they do have a premium option with Word Tracker, but again, entering one keyword here, we have all sorts of keywords that they'll give us. Then eventually they'll start blocking them out. But what I do like is the competition and the overall search volume for a lot of these different keywords. Last but not least, kparser.com. We can search different search engines here. So Google Mobile, News, Shopping, YouTube, DuckDuckGo, Let's use YouTube for our example here and we'll enter laptops and we'll click on start. Now if we scroll down here, we're looking at our YouTube keywords. You can see we have plenty of ideas here that we can use if we're starting to create some different YouTube content geared around laptops. So these are 20 of the very best keyword tools on the internet and all of these can be used for different reasons. Now some of them are just gonna give you long tail keyword tools. So a lot of them do the same thing as the Google Keyword Planner but something like Keyword It can be very helpful to find some different content ideas pulled directly from people who are talking about them on Reddit. Bulk Keyword Generator for local SEO, App Tweak for mobile apps, Keyword Surfer or Keywords Everywhere, or both if you wanna use both. When you are searching specific search engines, trying to find long tail keywords and search volume. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with all of these different free keyword research tools. So hopefully this has been helpful. Make sure you don't really need to create an account for any of these except for the Keyword Planner and except for Google Search Console, with our, which is worth creating the account for. So if you have any questions about keyword research tools, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.